All right, here we go. The UFC Women's Strawweight title is on the line. Oh, she continues to attack that lead leg. Solid leg kick there. Look at the force behind that leg kick. Oh, yeah, right here. All right, so she lands another leg kick there, and now you're starting to really see visible. Uh, clearly, she wanted to get this fight to the ground to try to fatigue the striker early. Mission accomplished so far. Mission accomplished. Even her team couldn't have imagined that it would work so early in the fight. Great timing on that takedown. All right, north-south position now, DC. If you're on the bottom, what are you trying to do to escape? If I'm the bottom fighter, she needs to try and force the top fighter to make an action to create some sort of sequence that will allow her to start defending. Because the moment you're on the bottom there, you're just kind of waiting, right? You're fighting with your hands, trying to grasp onto something that will allow you to get up. It's a very difficult defensive position, but it's not impossible. There are many, many ways for you to get back up to your feet. Hey, there it is. First takedown of the fight. She told us in our fighter meeting Thursday it's it to take this long, but here it is. She really had to work to get this first takedown, and she never gave up on herself. Continued to press, continued to shoot, continued to level change. Now she finally has secured her first takedown. That one snuck in. Nice strike. And they separate. During the clinch, you can pull down on the head and land these beautiful punches to the head. All right, two minutes now to go in the round. So just over 20 total strikes have landed for Wei Li Zhang. Oh. Now goes in and secures the takedown. Her opponent is squirming, and this might be the beginning of the end. The ground and pound strikes continue to land at will. She's landing it over and over again. She needs to make sure that when she's chasing the finish, she doesn't get excited and lose the position. Arsky Good was that right hand. Beautiful connection by her there. Right down the pipe, right on the chin. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Trying to recover full guard here. Oh, she connected with that right hand, DC. She's so fast, she throws it. There is no tell as to when that right hand is coming. Well, she was long on grappling experience coming into the show. She's looking for that arm triangle now. Oh, saved by the bell, round over. And the finish came just in time. Thought maybe she might tap there, but you know how tough she is. So the submission attempt right at the end of the round, saved by the bell, back to the stools they go. We'll see if she can recover in time for this next round. All right, so what a round it was, DC. Take us through some of the highlights. Gotta think her kicking game is gonna be featured prominently here. She did decent work with the hands, but the kicking game was the thing that truly separated her from her opponent. She was landing kick after kick and truly slowing down her opponent in that round. Nice punch from Aisha. Oh, and she raises the knee and lands, so a pretty good sign for her that she was able to find a home for that knee. When she's got the knee working, she's fighting really good, so right now she must feel great. Under the clinch, pulling down on your head, landing. Punch after punch, you have got to clear that collar tie, reach back inside, and try to find space. Well, these numbers are unofficial, but they are strong. 43 total strikes, which have landed for Wei Li Zhang. And connecting with 65% accuracy against Carla Esposa. All right, so her ground control is outstanding. Half guard is when she's at her most dangerous. Yeah, she's at her most dangerous when she has a half guard because she's so brutal with the ground and pound. She likes to go after fighters and really wear on them, force them to make decisions to give their backs so that she can chase her submissions, or they're gonna lay on their back and just get beaten up from the top from that beautiful half guard position. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Let's see if she 
can set up the arm bar now. And attack an arm bar. She's got some good ground and pound and putting that part of her game to good use tonight. She's putting it to great use, just really damaging from the top position. Oh, when you get in a bad spot on the ground and you want to reverse it, that's what you need to do. Master class in changing position, unreal to see. Well, she was a little bit hesitant in round one, but she has certainly picked up the pace here in this second round. It took her a while to find her range. She's in a strong striking rhythm now. Saw that one coming. 45 seconds remain in the round. Right hand punch to the clinch. Beautiful takedown. Well, in the men's game or in the women's game, the execution on a double leg takedown doesn't get a whole lot better than that. It does. As far as this looking for that arm triangle. Finish came just in time. Thought maybe she might tap there, but you know how tough she is. Back to the stools they go. We'll see if she can recover in time for this next round. Same thing. Stick to the plan. All right, so we now look back at some of the action from that previous round, DC. A lot of good highlights on both sides. I mean, a lot of good highlights from both competitors. They both should be very proud of what they accomplished. But I'm telling you, man, I'm not sure they can keep this up. If they land at this clip for another five minutes, somebody's going to sleep. All right, DC, the next round is underway. She landed a high number of total strikes in the previous round and figures to pick up where she left off with. She better pick up where she left off. She needs to keep the pressure high. Her opponent is already starting to slow down. You can see the damage starting to take effect as they get ready to begin this next round. And there's a takedown attempt by her there, DC, but she's not able to get it. She's unable to get it. Her opponent is ready and expected to get it She has to mix it up. She has to trick her. Go to a different shot if she's going to secure this takedown. Oh, beautiful hip toss there to take her down. She's flying Cormier Airlines tonight. She's flying first class. She got thrown right on her head. You've got to keep those hips back if you're going to defend this position. How good is her movement here on the ground, right? Shades of Ray Borg just transitioning so beautifully. Yeah, she's so good at transitions and movement. Her ability is unmatched. All right, she postures up here, DC. We'll see if she can get those ground strikes. Going. Watch for the huge elbows that she's known for. Hammer fist here by Esparza. Well, she did not miss a single grappling practice during this training camp, and here's your evidence. Outstanding movement on the ground. She looks like a master of grappling with the great movement that she's showing on the ground. Wow, there is just a viciousness with which she operates here on the ground as she continues to get the ground and pound game going. She might get a finish here. She's looking for a finish. She's so good at dictating these ground stages, and she's doing a fantastic job of building posture. She's going for the arm bar here. Got to be careful, arm bar. There it is. This might just be a matter of time. And there it is! Wow! Oh my goodness, what a fight. Yeah, really nice job by her there to execute the submission. It's one of the bigger wins of her UFC career. Check out some of the action in that previous round, DC. She certainly kept the stat trackers busy with all those takedowns. All those takedowns, but some really nice takedowns. She did a great job of level changing, getting into her opponent, not allowing her opponent to defend before she can secure her takedown.
So a dominant performance tonight for the UFC Women's Strawweight Champion of the World. Your winner by way of submission, and it is going to take a spectacular effort from another contender at 115 pounds to dethrone this talented champion. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop in this contest at 3 minutes, 27 seconds of round number 3. We're going to win by tap out and still the Still the strawweight queen. This has been a belt, DC, that we have seen change hands a lot. It does not change hands here tonight. No, man. She is going to be a big hill to overcome if you're going to take this title. She loves being called the champion, and she defended it once again.